Toyota Motor announced this week that it will use a Tesla pioneered technology called gigacasting as part of a plan to increase the efficiency and decrease the cost of future electric vehicles EVs. Toyota is not the only company imitating Tesla's innovation. But what's the reason for this new trend? A new fashion trend has recently begun to gain traction. The gigacasting trend was started by Tesla and is also known as mega castings by some OEMs. These massive cast structural elements can combine a variety of parts into a single, extremely large casting. This may affect not only how cars are made and how aluminum is used generally, but it may also change how much castings, sheets and extrusions are used in light vehicles. To put it another way, it might promote new growth for castings while possibly inhibiting the growth of sheets and extrusions. Tesla has incorporated the Gigapress aluminum die casting machine in its US, Chinese and German factories. The home-sized machines can create aluminum components that are much larger than anything previously used in the production of vehicles. The word Giga in the name is a reference to Tesla's practice of referring to its factories as Giga factories. They are now referred to as mega presses by other automakers, a term that can also be used to describe smaller but still enormous machines. When the press is in use, it feeds an 80 kg or more shot of molten aluminum into a mold where it is shaped into a part, released, and then quickly cooled. Tesla has created an aluminum alloy that also enables it to forego the standard heat treating procedure used to boost the strength of the cast component. Numerous studies, particularly those from Ducker Colisal, have demonstrated that the amount of aluminum used in light vehicles has been rising steadily over the years, surpassing 500 pounds to 27 kg per light vehicle in North America and 396 pounds 180 kg per vehicle in Europe. Castings have traditionally been the most common product from, but sheet and extrusion applications have seen the fastest growth rates in recent years and will continue to do so in the future. The primary motivation for using aluminum has always been lightness. The trend of aluminum's growth has only been sustained by the quickening electrification of vehicles, which has also altered the product mix. While hybrid vehicles typically have smaller engines and battery electric vehicles BEVs, don't use internal combustion engines ICEs, castings have historically been the most common product form and have primarily been used in the powertrain of ICE vehicles, primarily using secondary A380 or 319 alloys. The growth of aluminum has now moved to the car body and chassis, as well as the battery trays and electric drive components for electric vehicles. Today, the majority of these components are made from sheet and extruded materials, with only a small portion from castings, which are frequently structural and are therefore made using more advanced techniques and cleaner aluminum alloys, either primarily from clean scrap or secondary. This time, numerous other automakers have made the decision to take the same route and have invested in Giga presses, including Volvo and its CV brand Polestar. Volvo plans to create a number of vehicle models that can utilize the same mega casting for their body in white BIW. Components even mounting points for parts like suspension arms and electric motors will be integrated into the castings. Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen, Toyota, General Motors, Hyundai, and the Chinese electric vehicle startups NIO and Xpeng are other notable automakers that are openly known to be following this trend or plan to. Many other OEMs are at least considering Giga castings or are already secretly working on it. Using Giga castings has a number of advantages. For instance, they lessen the number of parts in a car. The frame or underbody, which is typically made up of numerous stamped sheet components and a few castings, may be integrated into a single large casting, which helps to lighten the car's overall weight. This is crucial for BEVs in particular because it extends the vehicle's range and improves its efficiency. Due to the fact that castings can only be produced in a limited range of thicknesses and cannot be much thinner than 2 mm, weight reduction is not a given. Sheet stampings, in contrast, can be produced with thicknesses as thin as 0.7 mm and have greater strength than castings. 
The vehicle's bill of materials is simplified by using a single large casting, which facilitates and expedites the car's manufacturing and assembly. Additionally, it lowers the required capital expenditure. Reducing supply chain logistics also has a positive effect on costs and the environment. The use of Giga castings, according to Tesla, has reduced their costs by up to 40%, though other reports have estimated this to be closer to 20 to 30%, and is the reason for their ability to produce Model Y vehicles in less than 10 hours. This also reduces the length of the assembly line and the time it takes to assemble the car. Volkswagen will also use this new technique for building cars to take advantage of the technology's less labor-intensive way of joining metals, allowing the cars to be produced affordably in high-cost nations. The increased crash performance of Giga castings in automobiles is another potential benefit. Despite this, it's essential to note that different people have different opinions. Tesla first addressed crash performance when they applied for their patent on the Giga Castings crash-absorbing capabilities. Other sources, however, see the crash performance of Giga Castings as a drawback because of the constrained types of alloys that can be used, only one alloy for the entire casting, and the limitations of the production process, such as the wall thickness restrictions. Despite the benefits mentioned, there are some drawbacks to Giga Castings that must be taken into account. The first is repairability. Small repairs are nearly impossible in a vehicle with a single large casting. The mechanic can easily remove and replace the damaged or defective part of an assembly made up of several pieces, but with a Giga Casting, the entire casting would need to be replaced, which would be prohibitively expensive. The difficulty of maintaining the tight tolerances necessary for manufacturing constitutes the second drawback. Giga castings have a variety of wall thicknesses, and each cools down in the die at a different rate during the cooling and subsequent quenching phases. This causes distortions that are frequently challenging to precisely simulate and predict. As a result, compared to sheet metal assembly processes, there are still a number of unknown components in the deviations and variations of tolerances in Giga Casting. Additionally, instead of attaching Giga Castings to other components using conventional spark welding techniques, other techniques are used, which may also result in unanticipated or unidentified geometrical variations. The casting quality is the third issue. Making a structural casting that is almost defect-free is challenging, but producing an entire front or rear underbody or battery tray as one massive high-quality casting is extremely difficult. Because of this, cold forming processes and assemblies are susceptible to scrap rates that are easily higher. Why wasn't the use of Giga castings by automakers before Tesla is a question that might be asked. The production of these sizable die-cast components is extremely difficult in many ways, is the answer. This is made simpler if the OEM such as Tesla or Volvo takes over the Giga Casting facility. Finding a supplier to make the sizable capital investment into a Giga Casting factory nearby a customer's car assembly plant, however, can be very difficult because it places a great deal of dependence on a single customer. The automotive industry is also becoming more and more concerned with sustainability. Currently, structural die castings as opposed to traditional die castings have primarily used primary alloys while aluminum auto body sheath is known to have a high recycled content. There is a need to increase the recycled content of structural die castings because primary aluminum alloys typically have a high carbon footprint unless the supplier manufactures the primary aluminum using renewable energy. Fortunately, this transition has already begun and structural die castings can now be produced using recycled materials in sometimes quite high concentrations. For instance, Volvo claims that its mega casting project, which reduces the environmental footprint throughout production, allows for a high recycling content, and is made from a single alloy therefore being easy to recycle, is assisting the company in reaching its sustainability goal of becoming carbon neutral by 2040. The car uses less energy while in use thanks in part to the weight reduction especially since steel stampings were replaced. Did this episode pique your interest?
Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.